Hello, fourth grade. All right, so I've been teaming up with Miss G, learning how to use this new app, and so far I really like it, but bear with me, I'm still learning, okay? Yes, I know, Mrs. Connor, your teacher, actually learned something new. I tell you guys that all the time. Okay, so you need page 45 today. Yesterday we were talking about um, what nouns that we needed to capitalize. And you, um, from what I could see on your workbook pages, you guys did a great job. Um, and you had references on your page 43 and in the back then you were using, I think, page 345 to um, use. So today we are doing where we capitalize titles, titles of books and poems, and that's what we're gonna be doing um, today. So you need your workbook, page 45, we're going to do together, and then page 46, you're gonna do on your own, and then turn in, and that's it for today, okay? So capitalizing titles, remember, I'm pointing to your big um, box up here. This is your hint, this is your reference that if you get stuck, go back and be like, oh yeah, this is where the titles of books and stories and poems are found. Book titles are here. Excuse me, stories and poems. And then um, special stuff for the Bible. So, for example, and I know you guys just, I want to just do this and get this done, but listen to Mrs. Connor. And the only reason I whited it out is because I don't have the student workbook. I only have the... Um, teacher text with the answer. So you can see which dots humor me and just let's do it together. Okay. So number one, you're learning um, how to capitalize the first, last, and all important words in the titles of books, stories, and poems. So here you can see some examples in the purple bubble here. Llamas on the loose, Johnny and his mule alone over the Atlantic. So you're capitalizing the first, last, and then all important words. Now, on and the don't need capitalized, but over here you'll notice his mule because he's talking about specific person, Johnny, okay? Number two, book titles should be underlined when handwritten or put in italics, which is like um, slanted writing or a slanted font um, when they're published. Okay, so those are those examples. And then number three, you're using quotation marks around titles of stories or poems. And then number four, capitalizing the names of the Bible, its divisions, which would be the Old and New Testament, um, and then the books of the Bible. So your, here's your example there. So let's jump down to the bottom. The first set of directions, fill in the circle next to the book title that is written correctly. If you come back up here, book titles... Um, right up here are underlined. So we're going to obviously, let me erase that, pick that one. Okay. Number two is not underlined, but it is in what? Italic. So we're going to mark that one. Number three, you have to fill in the circle next to the story title that is written correctly. Well, a story title gets what? Quotation marks. Very good. And here's the one that's quotation marks. It doesn't say underlined. Okay, and then fill in the circle next to the poem title. Poems get just quotation marks. It doesn't say to underline or use um, italics. So those ones are pretty self-explanatory. Okay, then at the bottom, we're writing the book, poem, or story correctly, meaning capital letter, and then does it need underline? Does it need quotation marks? Well, a book gets underlined. So there's our book, Mountain Born. It's underlined, and both words are capitalized. Okay. The next one's a poem. It gets quotation marks. Oh, I underdid. I, excuse me. I accidentally under, took off two. That's okay. A story gets quotation marks as well. A book gets underlined. If I'm going too fast, just pause the video. No worries. The next one's a story. It just gets quotation marks and a poem gets quotation marks. Pretty easy. Now, just one reminder before we go. You can use this up here, this reference when you do page 46. 
not terrible, okay? Because it's independent practice, and then you guys can take pictures of these and send them in when you're done. And that's it for today, guys. Take care.